da, da, da. For the right side of branding, business, and being your own boss. Hey boss, it's Sunny Leonard Easy. Welcome to The Sunny Show for the bright side of branding, business, and being your own boss boss and it has been a minute since I've done a tech tutorial and there's one question that I've been asked so much over the last couple months I feel like I'm being forced into doing this tutorial <laughs> and kind of going back to my roots of the, doing these tech tutorials so I'm excited to share this one with you guys so you guys know that I use live streaming all of the time especially when I'm launching products or I'm launching courses I love to use live streaming and I'm often asked when I do my live streams how do I make them look so good? Well, there's a little secret and a few tools that I use to live stream from my desktop and make them look perfectly branded for my business. And you can do the same thing in a matter of, of a few steps. So that's what I'm sharing today. Let's dive into the techie tutorial. Okay, so step number one is to make your graphics. So we are going to do um, 1920 by 1080. And th those are the dimensions that you want to be using for your live stream graphics. So we're going to design in Canva. I use Canva for pretty much all of our design in the business. I love it. You've heard me talk about it before. It's one of my favorite tools. Okay, so what we want to do is say I'm doing a live stream on how to get more YouTube views. And this is a paid Canva account, but you can also do this in a free account. How to... Oops get more YouTube views. Okay, so we're gonna do that in our brand font, which is this, and we're gonna move this over here. I'm gonna make this bigger, move that up, and then I'm actually going to put a background on it. So let's do just a gold background. Um, oops, <laughs> what I meant to do was add elements. And you can add any of these shapes in there. I'm just gonna use a square and we're going to make that square gold. So what I'm going to then do is move this over here, move this like that, and we're going to arrange that so that's in the back and this is in the front. So I will then add another subtext that has my name on it. That way if people are sharing the live stream, which hopefully they will be, um, people will know who's hosting it and it gives you more brand recognition. So let's make that a little bit smaller. And that's gonna go right there. Okay, so that is going to be our, just our graphic for when we go live. Now what I also want to do is I wanna create a cover graphic. So what we wanna do here is have something that people can see while they're waiting before you go live. The value of this is that you can go live without actually being on camera before you start your training so that people can know where the link is and can be there in the waiting room almost before you start your live stream. So for this, I do the background in black usually. What we're gonna do is add text and we're gonna say YouTube training starting soon. And one little added tip here that I really like to do um, to encourage engagement because the more engagement you get on your live stream, the more reach your live stream is gonna get on Facebook Live. So what I like to do is put a question on here as well. So let's make this 88, really big. And then what I'm gonna do is add a question. So we're gonna say, what is your YouTube channel name? So we will do this guy and we will do that in, let's say 42 and we'll do that in gold and we'll say comment below. That way you get the conversation started before you even come on camera and you'll see exactly what I mean by this in just a second. So everything is centered, it looks good. And when you go to download it, you just hit download and then you're going to drag the folder. It'll show up in your downloads up here. You're gonna drag it onto your desktop or into an area that you can easily pull from. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag this guy onto the desktop so it's easily accessible. And that is step one of designing your graphics in Canva. So step two is opening up OBS. Hello. Okay, so there's a few things that you definitely want to have here. So I'm actually going to delete this guy so we can start from scratch. 
So to add in elements to your um, live stream, you just go down here and press add. So we're going to add something in just a second. But if you guys are a little overwhelmed by what OBS is, it's open broadcast software. This is what I use and a lot of people use to broadcast live on Facebook from their computer. So what you want to do is first and foremost, we put a link below that we follow every time we go live because it makes the process a lot easier. It's a quick step by step of how to do it. Um, but we want to first and foremost, before we go live on Facebook, uh, and remember that link is below if you want to review it every time you go live. Um, but before we actually go live, we need to make sure that the live stream is going to look good. So I'm going to walk you through this. So the first thing that we have here, the first element is actually me on camera. We want that to be um, visible to the audience when I'm live. So if I turn that off, you can't see me anymore. So that element is there. The next thing is the screen. So I can actually share my screen with the audience while I'm doing a live stream. The last thing I want to add in here is the images. So we're going to do intro graphic. Okay. So we're going to upload this because this is the graphic that we created in Canva. So it's going to be this guy. So we'll add that in. Okay. And you'll see we're good to go. All right. So this will be the very first thing people see when we go live. So if I take that off, and that's what I do when I go live, um, I just quickly press the I, and then people will see me and not see that intro graphic. And the next element we want to add in is the, we'll call it like the title graphic, which will have my name and the title of the training on it. So what we're going to use here is this guy. So we're going to like this. Move that over slightly, and what we're going to do is we're going to move this guy below the video capture device because we want to make sure that people can actually see me. Now, this is something you can kind of play with. You can kind of like have it like that. I mean, I can move my positioning. You can play with the graphics. I've done graphics that don't have this exact setup before and actually have, you know, a computer graphic on there, and I put myself in, in, in the computer uh, screen. So you can do really whatever you like. You can just have it set up like this, so you have the white bars on the top and bottom. Or, like I said, I could just adjust my, my position and have a full screen of me on camera. You can set it up however you want to suit what you're looking for and just kind of play around with it. So those are the graphics that you need. So when you start your live stream, this is what people will see. Obviously, that red thing will be gone. Uh, and then when you take that off, hi, here we are. Let's start the live training. So that is step number two of setting up OBS to be branded so when you go live on Facebook, it looks good and it looks like your brand colors. Okay, step number three is actually going live. We're going to go live on my Facebook page. I'm going to show you the setup to go live on a Facebook page. There's also a way to go live in a group using this method. And like I said, this link is below this video because it's a great resource. So kudos to IAG.me on creating a great guide for going live, no matter if it's a Facebook page or a group. But what we're going to do first and foremost is we're going to go live on a page. So this is how to do it. So what you're going to do is go to your page. This is my page, facebook.com slash Sunny Leonard Uzi. And I have gone into the publishing tools, then videos, and I want to ha hit go live. So this is really, really important. This link right here, the stream key, we're going to need that in just a second. So what we're going to do is go next and you can post your title of your video. So we'll say YouTube training, oops. Put any links that you wanna have in there and then the video title, we'll just call it the same thing. Training, oops. And then any tag, so we'll say YouTube, video marketing, that's good, social media. And what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we put this stream key now. So now we connect the two. So we've gone on the Facebook page. We've set everything up. Now what we need to do is go to settings in OBS, go to stream, and then you're going to copy and, well, not copy. You're going to paste the stream key that you just copied from Facebook right here. So we've done that. And then we go start streaming. This does not mean they are actually live on Facebook yet. This is before you actually go live. So you can just see what it's going to look like. So we're going to go start streaming. 
And then we go back here. And in just a second, it'll pick up and show us that it's actually working. So now you can see what it's going to look like. So we don't want that to be the opening. So what we want to do is change it to this. And you'll see it change in just a second. There's about a, I don't know, 10 second lag here. Um, so just keep that in mind when you are going live. So there you go. So that's what people are going to see. And then all you do is hit go live and you are live on your Facebook page. And my other tip for this is when you are going to go live, using this method, I do recommend having your phone or another computer set up so you can actually monitor comments while you're going live and also be adjusting your um, graphics or showing your screen on one computer and doing the comments on the other computer. So there you go. That's how you go live on Facebook using your computer and making it look branded. So now you know how to make your live streams look amazing and there's actually a link that I always refer to when I'm about to go live and it's a recap of everything that I've just told you guys. So you can grab that below this video. It's a great article just with all the steps you need to know if this wasn't clear enough for you, but it should be. And if you want to launch your own course and you're interested in using live streaming and getting started in growing your business through course creation, I have a course concept checklist that you definitely want to snag below this video as well. And don't forget to join thousands of entrepreneurs in the Be Your Own Boss Mastermind group. You can join for free below this video at the link and have the support of thousands of bosses from all over the world who are trying to live a life on their own terms. If you like this video, hit the like button below, share it with somebody who needs to know this techie tutorial trick, and be sure to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Have you been thinking about using YouTube to grow your business, but you're not sure where to start and you're scared of wasting time on the wrong steps? Let me be your guide and I'll show you the right steps to ranking on page one for more views, subscribers, and leads for your business. Learn more at bossyoutubestrategy.com.